This is Pops, and I wish I could tell you I had good news, or news that I would be excited about. I am not excited. I don't think you're going to be excited. I think this is another chapter, kind of like the prelude. They're coming for you. They're coming for what you love. Oh, gosh, ad blocker's not working. I didn't turn it on this computer. There we go. Robocop, Stargate, Legally Blonde, Barbershop. They're all in the works for Amazon's MGM to do a reboot. That's right. Deadline's got the report for you. Isn't that what you wanted to hear? Isn't that what everybody wants to hear? Right? That MGM extensive film and TV catalog built over the past century main driver behind the 8.5 billion acquisition now we look at the list here's some of the stuff they're claiming is already in the works robocop stargate oh hit the button robocop stargate legally blonde fame barbershop magnificent magnificent seven already was done pink panther that was already done done badly thomas crown affair eh, that was all right we don't need a third one though oh gosh Amazon is leaning in, baby, leaning in. Let's see. Each title is being approached differently. Some are being steered towards film, some towards TV. Big ones are getting both movie and TV. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. Amazon Studios actively in conversation on Legally Blonde, both for movie and potential TV. Already been on and off efforts to get a third Legally Blonde film off the ground for the past five years. Yeah, that's true. Free pre-pandemic that was probably going to happen stargate film and tv yep movie coming first makes sense robocop film and tv 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 first on robocop really hmm okay amazon studios a developing tv series based on fame barbershop and magnificent seven okay magnificent seven is a tv series is interesting but you would almost have to do a prequel, obviously. All right. Discussions about Thomas Crown Affair, Pink Panther movies. Uh, Pink Panther movie could be animated. And this, all this wasn't mentioned earlier, Poltergeist Project is also possibly down the road. Deadline's already revealed plans for Creed Universe spanning film and TV. They've been discussing a franchise star and filmmaker, Michael B. Jordan. Studios made a, fir- make, made a first look deal with Stallone and his Balboa Productions expanding the Rocky brand into television, okay? No plans for Bond. No plans for Bond. Bond is dead for now. Makes sense? Bond was a disaster. The nearly 100-year-old studio has multiple owners as well as financing partners for many of its best-known movies. It's also a studio that's reportedly kept much of its archived hundreds of feet underground as an actual salt mine in Kansas that house deleted scenes of movies such as 2001 Space Odyssey, unmade scripts from the likes of Woody Allen, Samuel Beckett, and even Stanley Kubrick's inf- infamous Napoleon script. Huh, fascinating. Let's see. It just talks about uh, the head of library rights. So here's the thing. They, they have things. They've been around for, MGM's been around for so long. They have sold pieces of things. People were deals of how to get more things done so they would sell half rights some rights so that's why still owns a big player and some of that kind of stuff so yeah fascinating stuff fascinating stuff so yeah it is um i don't know who owns certain pieces so i'm trying to read to see if there's anything else about other partnerships or things like that that might be interesting but i don't see anything else but yeah do you want these people making your stuff do you think, I mean, they've tried to redo almost all of these things. They tried to do different elements of all of these things in some way, shape or form. Um, and you don't, I don't have a sense that they know what, I mean, Creed is the anomaly, right? Where they did a spinoff, they did something and it, it worked, it becomes successful. Do you think that they can do, I mean, are you anxious? Like if you are sitting there as a Stargate fan, for instance, and you've watched what's happened with Rings of Power, what the Mouse House has done with everything it has touched. 
Star Trek. Are you excited? Are you like scared out of your mind? Are you like, oh God, please no? I would be. I'm a big fan of Robocop. The first movie I thought was just tremendous. It is actually one of so back in the day, you know, you would just you could you could just dub movies, like VHS tapes. And then what ended up happening, they would start mass producing these things because of the video store boom. And they would have so many extra copies you could get cheap copies. I remember I I was able to afford in college, I was able to afford to buy four or five original films on VHS. And um one of them was Action Jackson, by the way, which is still just funny to me. Um, but Robocop was one of them. And I remember watching Robocop like a hundred times. Like I just, yeah, it was nuts. It was nuts. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Legally Blonde has a pretty good fan base. They love that. Barbershop, again, big fan base. I'm not sure that you can do these things and do them well. They're just going to make end up Poltergeist. They've tried to mess with Poltergeist several times. Magnificent Seven as a TV show might be the most interesting. I just hate the concepts of reboots where I know all the stakes. Like I know none of those characters will die. So therefore, why do I have to watch? You know, it's a, you just remove so many elements of the story um, that are interesting. I don't know who you hire. Uh, Amazon has no track record right now that I can have faith in. They they hit the nail on the head when it comes to like machismo project products like Reacher jack ryan things like that so maybe that leans towards a creator or two might be a good fit for robocop magnificent seven or stargate but oh it seems like such a stretch i'm I'm not sure i can get there i'm not sure i can get there all right what do you guys think what do you guys think i don't have an mgm thing by the way i don't have an mgm close so I guess we'll just go to Old Faithful. We'll go to Bob. Let Bob close this out. You guys tell me what you think. I could use a little happiness. So let, yeah, let's go to Bob and let him close me out, man. Uh, love to hear your thoughts, guys. All I do is chill.